Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that you hear rubbing in your rear wheel wells, you might just need to adjust your internal brake shoes or pads. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, DIYers outside of the Nissan Juke, and every time we pull the emergency brake, it's quite weak, and we are going to adjust that. Number one, you'll need to take off your tire and never rely on a jack. Always rest your vehicle on a jack stand. And coming down below, you will notice I have got the jack stand placed right in the dead center of the reinforced pinch welds right there, those little circular indents. And from here, we've got a brand new rotor and brake pads, and we're going to remove this rubber insert and just carefully without gouging your rotor, pull this off. And you can get a flashlight if you want. However, inside this hole, we have to find the adjustable screw that will compress and expand your inner shoe brakes. And I'll show you what that looks like real quick. All right, DIYers, this is a picture of the hub assembly with the rotor removed and down below. You will notice the dust plate here. And these are the studs that the lug nuts screw onto and secure your wheel to. And right down here is the adjustable mechanism for your emergency brake. And with that said, throughout the remainder of this video, we are going to be referencing and adjusting this little part right here you will notice it has notches on it and when you slide the screwdriver through that little access hole you can position the head of the screwdriver in these notches to help rotate it after we remove that rubber insert and what that does is it keeps all the brake dust and any additional weather such as rain ice snow salt etc from going inside here and destroying your inner brakes and I want to actually push the rotor flush with the hub in most cases, it might come out a little bit, and as you rotate it, it will give you a false reading. So push it flush with the hub and spin it. And if there's any aggressive rubbing, you want to address that. In other words, if there is uneven rubbing, where it's easy to rotate it halfway and then it's very hard to rotate it the other half, that's a problem. So again, flush, and we are going to spin this. What we'll do now is go inside the vehicle and engage the emergency brake. Inside the vehicle, we are going to do three clicks. One, two, three. Let's head back to the wheel. Back to the wheel, and again, push the rotor flush and rotate it. And we should not be able to rotate this. So what we are going to do, again, is line up this hole with the inner screw, and we are going to adjust it. And I am not sure if you can see it in there. There it is, right there. So again, I've got that hole lined up. And we are going to use a flathead screwdriver. We are going to shift it down. And by shifting it down, it will extend the inner shoes or pads closer to the inner portion of this rotor. However, before that, we are going to release the brake. And one additional push on the rotor to make sure it is flush with the hub. Line this up. And we'll probably do two to three clicks down. Back inside the car, three clicks. One two, three. Back to the hub and we can still move it. So we have to continue shifting that adjustment down. Back inside the car, release that and we'll keep doing it. And we have continued to do it and now it is solid and I cannot move that. So that's what you want. From here, you can carefully reinstall your little rubber seal and I will put the tire back on, tighten down the lug nuts and go for a test drive. All right, DIYers, back from the test drive, all went well. And down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, are links to videos replacing the rear caliper, as well as a video link replacing the rear brake pads and rotors. Definitely check those out. You may find them helpful. From here, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.